Okay, so um, this is a pretty weird theory and maybe a bit awkward, but I'm going to do it anyways because I really don't care if it's awkward or not. But anyways, let's get right into it. Today's Five Nights at Freddy's 2 theory is um, is actually pretty interesting. Now, if you guys do not know that uh, the genders of the animatronic, Bonnie is a guy, um, which sounds weird with the name, I know. Um, Freddy is a guy, obviously. <laughs> and uh, Foxy's a guy, but Chica's a girl. Now, in the um, second game, everyone's saying... All the new animatronics are girls, um, which I'm about to show you why, probably on camera or something, of uh, the new models. Because everyone's saying they all look like girls, except for uh, the new Freddy, still looks like a guy. Um, now, what I can suspect from this is that two things. Well, either I either think that uh, they're all they're all the same gender, which is that can be completely true. Um, which I honestly think that they're whatever Scott said because Scott did say and confirm that Foxy, Bonnie, and Freddy are in fact guys. However, Chica is a girl. So, Chica in the picture, um, I'm about to show you guys right now. Um, you can clearly tell she is a girl, um, just by the way she's, uh, she's dressed the way she is. Unless she's cross-dressing then, uh, and has a female body, then... I guess, uh, that's pretty creepy alone, but anyways, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with cross dressing, but, <laughs> um, anyways, so with that, um, being said, the new Bonnie is up for grabs, pretty much. If you don't know what the new Bonnie looks like, it's on camera right now, or on screen, I should say. Um, the new Bonnie, it's, it looks like a guy, everyone calls it a guy. To me, it looks more on the female side, but right now, anything could be um, could be possible because it it's blue. So um, and normally for kids, they distinct stuff uh, such as blue for guys, pink for girls. That's kind of how uh, kid stuff works, I guess. Um, and that's uh, what Chica. If you notice Chica, she's wearing pink pants, uh, shorts, pants, shorts. Shorts are shorts and pants are all the way down to your legs she's not wearing pants actually they're very very short shorts i may add to <laughs> but um anyways with that being said um bonnie may be a guy mainly because of the fact that he's uh blue now Foxy in the second game is uh, the new Foxy I'm mad because obviously the first Foxy's a guy. Um, but the new Foxy is honestly to me it looks like a female. Scott even announced it as a guy. I really don't know if uh, I can really trust him on this one because he is wearing lipstick. I may add uh, the second Foxy. It is wearing lipstick, and it looks like he is going to be, um... He's, like, bluish and pinkish at the same time. At everywhere, and he's wearing lipstick. And he looks like a female version of Foxy, pretty much. Now, um... In the second screenshot of Foxy 2.0, it's all messed up, so you can't really tell the gender there. Um, but really, I highly doubt there's going to be a cross dressing animatronic in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So, um, I highly doubt that it's a guy, even if Scott did say it's a guy. I highly doubt it's a guy, because I don't really see... I can't really see an animatronic at a kid's place cross-dressing. I mean, I'm not saying there's anything really wrong with it. It's just that I don't see a business, um, changing the, uh, animatronic to look like a girl, even if it's a guy. So, that could be, um, that could be that. Um... There's really nothing else I can say about it. I mean, Golden Freddy doesn't really have a distinct gender because it's not even a living being. So you can't really pick a gender for him. But, uh, yeah, I think that about concludes today's Five Nights at Freddy's 2 Theory. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you leave a like. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps me a lot and continues to make me do more of these videos. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.